Hello everybody, our next camera is the Nikon N8008S, known as the uh, F801 in, in other parts of the world. We started manufacturing it in 1991. Um, the S model um, added spot metering and somehow they improved the uh, autofocus. It's one of their prosumer cameras. Um, its manufacturing run overlaps with the uh, F4, the F5, the N90S. There are a lot of good reviews and sites uh, with detailed specifications about this camera. So I'm just going to hit what I think uh, makes this a great camera. It has a vertically traveling metal shutter. goes from 30 seconds to 1 8,000th of a second plus bulb. Uh, it does matrix metering. Uh, I believe that was something they started with the FA. And um, does center weighted 75% uh, um, you know, to the inner portion of it, 25% weighting to the rest of the scene. It also does spot metering, which I love. Um, it has separate uh, auto exposure and auto focus lock. The autofocus lock is down here on the front. Having AF and AE uh, tied together with a half press makes me crazy. It has an electronic rangefinder, little dot that tells you if you've got the focus. And it'll do that even if you're using an ancient manual focus lens. You just twist it until it gives you the green dot and you have a pretty good indication that your focusing is spot on. It has a depth of field preview, uh, reads DX encoded film from 6 to 6400, and even with that range, you can override it, so it's nice to be able to set that manually. Uh, it does uh, exposure compensation, plus or minus five stops, and that's in third stop increments. The meter in this thing is fantastic, it can meter all the way from exposure value 0 up to EV21. Um, it has interchangeable focus screens. It'll do multiple exposures up to 9. The viewfinder info is really useful. It's got the light. It's not cluttered. It shows you your mode, your shutter, your f-stop, whether you have compensation going, um, and then it also has a flash ready light if you're using one of the uh, Nikon speed lights or a compatible one. As I mentioned, it can use um, older lenses, but I mean, an amazing thing with this one, just forget it's a Nikon, it's clockwise to get it off. Um, not only does it have the contacts, so it can talk even to modern G lenses. Um, that don't have an aperture ring but it's also got the little motor drive like on this uh, older AF so this thing will talk to everything except a pre-AI lens if you're using a G lens uh, you have to be in shutter priority since you obviously can't set, set the uh, the aperture on it or program auto exposure mode. So, I mean, this is kind of in between, but that makes it really powerful. Manual focus, the old screw type autofocus, the later electronic autofocus, and even the G lenses. So, I really love that about this uh, camera. Another great thing about it, it uses AA batteries. See if I can get this off without wasting much time. You just put them in this cartridge, plug the thing in, so you can pick up batteries anywhere in the world. I originally got this, I saw a Craigslist ad for a Minolta camera, and he had a bag of stuff. Um, the Minolta, Minolta camera turned out to be in just Beat to but in the bag there was this, it was filthy with no body cap, some Olympus OM lenses. I think the guy just found the stuff in his garage or something and was just flogging it. So 
the way this thing looked, you know, it's got this polycarbonate body. I didn't learn later. The, the chassis is metal. This thing is tough, even though it looks like a 90s plastic SLR. Um, and the, one of the catches for the film door was broken off. So I thought, eh, okay, you know, whatever. I bought a bag of stuff mostly to get the lenses at that point. But then I was shooting slide film and I already had my chemicals mixed. So it was like, oh my God, oh my God, what are we going to shoot with? So I dragged this thing out, looked it up, started reading some of the specs, and I was like, holy cow, what a find. So I cleaned up the battery chamber. I figured out I can just poke something in here and compensate for the missing uh, uh, film door latch. I shot with it this fall while I was trying to burn through a ton of film. Uh, it was some more of the film photography project uh, retro chrome. You know, it's cold stored ancient ectochrome. They bought it in bulk and they loaded it in canisters. It works fine, but it's kind of blue. The 320 speed uh, is kind of grainy. Um, but, you know, it's fun if you just want to get out and shoot some slide film. I loved shooting with this thing. So I'm definitely going to hang on to it and probably shoot some black and white through it next. And I'll see you then.